Hello there and welcome to this look at what is the June 2016 Sci-Fi Block. You can see the Sci-Fi Block logo there on the side of this box, which has made it safely through to the UK. If you're interested, I think it's a you know, medium weight, lighter than these sometimes are, but I'm sure there's some interesting science fiction goodies inside. This is, tends to be a very good box to look inside, because I like science fiction as I'm sure many of you watching this video from Geek Subscription Box do as well. So I've just cut through the seal, so let's see what was in the June 2016 Sci-Fi Block. And straight away we've got the logo inside, but let's move over to this pop. Uh, a bit of a giveaway on the back if you can read this, but Independence Day, but let's go over to the correct side there. It's uh, Pop Movies number 300, nice round number. Uh, the Independence Day Resurgence, that's the new one, David Levinson. I've not seen the film, so I can't remember all the details of Independence Day from first time around either, so to say whether this is a recurring character or not, or it's probably a really obvious one to people watching it, a year since I've seen it. So there are three of them in the film, Jake Morrison, David Levinson, and Alien Warrior, and this is the one right in the middle, number 300. So always good to get pops in boxes, they do seem to add some value, so we'll put him to one side and move on to what is typically the item unbox first which is a a t-shirt and looks nice and colorful blue and orange there Jurassic Pops made by Hammond so presumably a takeoff on um, well Jurassic Park of course you can see there nice allusion to that and for 45 with dino DNA or dino DNA depending how you want to say it um, and also, I'm guessing some various breakfast cereals were pops in. I'm immediately thinking of Rice Krispies, Snap, Crackle and Pop. But I know probably it's an American or Canadian reference, so something completely different. Maybe um, Sugar Puffs in the UK look a bit like that. Who knows? Anyway, nice, interesting, breakfasty mashup. I think it's the first time I've had a cereal mashup. We'll move on to a collection of little, um, I'll say little fighting men, as is what we'd have called them. But these are the aliens... Versus Colonial Marines, sci-fi block, ten of them. So you see the little uh, plastic ones. I'm going to guess the Marines in green and the Aliens in black. Let's look at this from the other side. Presumably an exclusive, because it's got the logo on there. Uh, yeah, little sort of quaint, cheap item. Anyway, we'll put that to, to one side. We'll move on to a tin. Cafe 80s. Do not open until 1985. Which I'm going to guess is Back to the Future, just based purely on the 1985. Can't quite remember where Cafe came in. Uh, oh, Future Coaster set. That's also a giveaway that is probably an unofficial Back to the Future reference. But there are going to be some drinks coasters in there. I won't try and um, undo that. Very neat seal there. So it's been very well sealed and wrapped up. But if they look like that one, they're nice interesting coasters. I'm sure they'll be on the information card. And on the subject of Back to the Future, you made a time machine out of the DeLorean. A limited 30th edition lithograph or lithograph, depending how you want to, to say that. Very much pop art, Andy Warhol type art there. Quite a nice um, looking print as these ones go. So interesting one there. And the final item, actually it looks to be a good one, it's a Battlestar Galactica from Comic Book. It's a one-shot, so it's a one-off. Oh, and a Comic Book Block exclusive. Well, it would be a Comic Block exclusive, but this isn't Comic Block, this is Sci-Fi Block. But uh, even so, interesting enough, can we get into that one? Uh, it's, thankfully, it's one of these reusable plastic wraps. Quite a thin comic, I can tell you that there. I always like Battlestar Galactica and there we go. Clearly the uh, modern version, at least I'll say the modern version until the film comes out, in which case it would no longer be a modern version. It would be the sort of old noughties version, but looks an interesting enough read. Have a look through that there as well. So Battlestar Galactica number one in stores August 2016. So I'm going to guess there's a whole series following on from from this one as well. So that's quite a nice item there. And what have we got? We've got Shirt Punch, $10 credit. That's new in all the boxes. Collect the set and get a $100 gift card. See how that one goes. Uh, it's always a postage killer on buying from um, Shirt Punch in the UK. July sci-fi block is Ghostbusters. 
uh, NASA and Star Trek and more. And finally the information card that we're looking for. So main item is the Independence Day Resurgence. Is Jake Morrison or David Levenson pop. So we've got David Levenson. It's the t-shirt Jurassic Pops from Count Chocula there. So nice as it says cool design. The exclusive Aliens vs. Colonial Marines Army set. Battle of Marines against the Aliens. There they are. Just, um, yeah, interesting. Okay. Exclusive Battlestar Galactica comic. This is the Nerd Block only exclusive variant comic. So I'm going to guess really when it's exclusive, it must mean exclusive cover. Uh, exclusive Back to the Future four coaster set. There. Well, I think you may just be able to make out those quite interesting designs on the. Our coasters there, even though we don't necessarily want any more coasters, quite a nice one. And finally, it's not an exclusive, but it's Back to the Future DeLorean art print. So, I think we've got some pretty good items, quite happy with this sci-fi block. Let me know what you think about its unboxing and the items on the video on YouTube, on the review on geeksubscriptionbox.com, and uh, do keep feeding your comments forward, it's always great to read them and hear about them. Thanks for joining me, and stay tuned for more.